Now let's look at the commands. So in addition to the general tool grouping, some of the tools are further subdivided. And this ensures that the ribbons aren't overwhelmed with lots of different tools and the user's not sure which tools do what. In our case, we'll just isolate some components. And we'll enter the elements ribbon to edit the elements. Now, editing elements consists of many different operations. And therefore, we have a sub ribbon which breaks out the edit elements functionality into logical tools. So I'll select the move tool. And each tool has its own um, context menu where we supply a user selection. And again, we follow it along left to right. So the move tool lets us find holes we can move or let us interact with the, the model directly. For users that have, start, have never used the tool before, there's additional help, which can be accessed directly in the tool, and also some help videos to show how the intended use of the tool should be. This carries across all of the tools. So if we were to wanted to create some elements, we get our own interaction context menu, we have additional help and a video to show us how to interact with the tool. So it's really easy to start with new tools, interact with them, or simply refresh your memory on some other functionality. And this is carried across to other tools. So where necessary, such as the mid surface tool, we break this down into logical sub ribbons where we can interact with the tools in a more logical way and the user isn't overwhelmed with lots of different inputs and we're not sure which one we need for a particular action.